Good morning. It's Thursday, October 17th, and you're listening to Sentinel Today from The Daily Sentinel. Join us on weekdays for local news, events, history, and so much more. This episode was brought to you in part by Bank of Utica in a league all of their own. Today, we're covering an important update from Utica, the launch of the Crisis Response Team dashboard by the Utica Police Department. Before we jump in, here are a few other stories that you should know about. The Rome Free Academy field hockey team has won every Tri-Valley League game in the five seasons since COVID-19. That includes Wednesday night's win over visiting Whitesboro. The Holy Family Parish is inviting the community to enjoy the beauty of the parish's historical stained glass windows at a special event on Sunday, October 27th. Is Katie Aiello's position in jeopardy due to questions about her residency? The Utica Common Council received a resolution suggesting her primary residence might be in Herkimer. More on that later. For more on all of these stories, visit YouAreSentinel.com. Now our feature story. Mayor Michael Gulim and Utica Police Chief Mark Williams announced the launch of the Crisis Response Team dashboard, now available on the city's website. This dashboard gives us a clear look at how Utica is handling mental health crises. The Crisis Response Team, or CRT, is a partnership between the Utica Police Department and the Neighborhood Center. It pairs a licensed mental health professional with a UPD officer trained in crisis intervention to provide a holistic response to mental health emergencies. The new CRT data dashboard offers statistics on call volume, call types, demographics, and outcomes. It's a way for the community to see how well the program is doing and understand the department's efforts in addressing mental health challenges. The CRT aims to enhance law enforcement responses by integrating clinical expertise, improve safety for all involved, offer alternatives to emergency petitions, and divert individuals from the criminal justice system when mental health is the root issue. Calls with a mental health component are assigned to the crisis response team by the County 911 Center. The CRT also accepts referrals from family members, community partners, and law enforcement officers. They provide follow-up services to ensure continued support. Currently, there are two CRT teams in Utica offering services Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to midnight. Established in April 2021, the CRT was the first of its kind in the county and has since opened the door to several grant opportunities. Thanks to First Source Federal Credit Union, the CRT welcomed a therapy dog, Officer Penny, in September 2023 to assist individuals facing mental health challenges. The dashboard even includes photos of Officer Penny. The Utica Police Department also extends its gratitude to the Mohawk Valley Crime Analysis Center for their partnership in developing the dashboard. Utica is making strides to handle mental health emergencies with care, transparency, and a community-first approach. The crisis response team is here to provide support beyond traditional law enforcement. Before we continue, a quick message. The Sentinel Premium Golf Pass has arrived. At only $99, the Golf Pass grants you access to 16 of the best golf courses in the Mohawk Valley. Head over to premiumgolfpass.com for a full list of courses and grab yours today. Next, we're moving on to a developing story about the Utica Common Council questioning Katie Aiello's residency. On October 16th, the council received a resolution about Aiello's residency, circulated by Councilor-at-Large Mark Williamson. No council member officially sponsored it. The resolution references an investigation by the county district attorney suggesting Aiello's primary residence might be in Herkimer, not Utica. This matters because, according to the city charter, if an officer is no longer a resident, their position becomes vacant. During the pre-meeting, Aiello stated she has residences in both Utica and Herkimer and believes she's not breaking any laws. The Daily Sentinel has submitted its own request for the investigation documents and will be watching for updates. That's all for today. Thanks for listening. For more on all of these stories, visit us at youarsentinel.com or click the link in our show notes. Also, right now you can subscribe and get unlimited digital access for just $1 per week. Learn more at youarsentinel.com slash subscribe.